In this video, I'm going to unbox a subscription box from Threadcrate. In this video, I'm just unboxing. I'm not actually going to be using the items. As I understand it, it comes with a pattern and the materials to make that pattern. However, this video is just the unboxing, so this is gonna be like a two-part series where I unbox it here, and then I make the pattern in another video. So let me preface this video with how I found out about Threadcrate. I want to let you know right off the bat, this is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money, and Threadcrate knows nothing about me other than like, my address because they had to send me this box. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way, so just know that right up front. I was scrolling through my Facebook feed one day because I still do that, and uh, I had an ad pop up in my feed for Thread Crate, and I was like, okay, what's that? It looks kind of interesting. I've been really interested in like a sewing subscription box for a long time, but I've never really seen one that caught my attention and made me really want to try it. And after seeing the ad, yes, ads do work sometimes. <laughs> after seeing the ad, I just decided I wanted to dive in and try it. So I went ahead and got a box. I got January's subscription box and this is what it is. So the box is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I kind of imagined it would probably be about this big versus this big. So I'm kind of excited about that and can't wait to open this up. All right, so it's got tape on the sides. It looks like it's pretty well taped, which is a good thing. Okay, so the first thing we see is this eco-friendly. Okay, so the box is eco-friendly and the materials used to package my stuff is eco-friendly, which is really cool. I support that and I like that. Okay, and it's cute all wrapped up in tissue paper, so that's really fun too. It's fun because it's like opening a present. Okay, so we have this thing here. Okay, I'm guessing this is gonna tell me what's in my box. Okay, so we've got fabric, sewing pins, a point turner, needle, wool dryer balls, which is super cool because I have been wanting some of those. Um, a sewing coaster, that's fun. Clip and glide bodkin and Guterman thread, cool. To be fair to everyone else, I've blurred this out, but I do have a redemption code for my pattern right here. Um, and it is for Rad Patterns Marsha Wrap Dress. I'm actually really excited to make this pattern because I totally just had a baby and I'm nursing her right now. So easy access is a plus for me. All right, so this is my material and it looks really pretty. Let's pull it out of the bag. Okay, this is a nice pretty pinkish red and it looks like a rayon spandex from what I can tell, which is nice. Rayon spandex is usually a pretty nice fabric in my opinion. I, um, it's a little bit hard to work with sometimes, but I think it can yield for some really pretty looks. So that's my fabric that I got. And the wool dryer balls, I'm super excited about these. You know, I was literally just thinking the other day that I wanted to look some up and buy them. So I'm really glad I didn't do that because they came in my box. All right, okay, so this is, there's four extra large wool balls in here. And I'll see, yeah, I'm excited for these. Oh, this is so fun, okay. So we've got the dryer balls. And then this is the bodkin. What is a bodkin? You know what? I've been sewing for a few years and I have no idea what a bodkin is. How embarrassing is that? Oh. Okay, so it looks like it's for threading elastic or threading like ribbons through casings or things like that. Just kind of help make it be a little bit easier. Yeah, because it's, its features are the clip provides firm hold on elastic for pulling through casing with ease. So that's exactly what it's for. Okay, and here's the point turner. And this is actually going to be really handy because I sew a lot of things that have um, corners and points and things like that. So this, so this is going to be nice to help kind of smooth everything out and get all those corners turned all the way. I'm excited about this one. And then the last thing... I've got this, what else did it say was in here? Needle maybe, okay. So we'll open this up. 
Oh yeah, okay, so this has a few things in this little bag. Let's see if I can pull them out one at a time. It's a cute little bag. All right, here's the coaster. This is the coaster. It's love to sew. That's cute. I'm totally putting this on my sewing table. That's fun. All right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, we've got a needle. I like how that's stamped and labeled so that I know exactly what it is. Okay, they are, these are loose. So there's some, it looks like some straight pins and a, an actual machine needle in here. So what do you call that? On the packing list or the list of things that are in there, I can't think of what it's called right now, but it says that it's a ballpoint jersey needle. So this is actually really important for sewing knit fabric and I have a whole <laughs> post about that. You can go read it on my site, jennymasterson.com. Um, and then you just look up knit fabric or something like that. Okay, so those are fun. Um, I actually really like the color of those straight pins too. Those are nice. See if I can get them back in here without stabbing myself. All right, so those are cool. Those are needles and I think there is, yep, one more thing. And that is our Guterman thread. I've heard people swear by Guterman that you should not be using anything else. I will say that I usually don't like to pay full price for things, so I will often end up just buying the cheap Walmart thread. Don't hate me for that. But, <laughs> I mean, I only sew for me and my family, so it's not really a big deal. I'm not selling any of the items that I use that thread with. So, the Guterman thread I've only heard good things about. I know people who will only sew with it because it is supposed to be high quality, super fancy stuff. So. I think this is really cool. We have now opened everything. I know what my pattern is. It's a wrap dress from Rad Patterns. So I'll go download the pattern, I'll make the dress, and I'll show you guys the video process of that. I think it was fairly worth it for the stuff that I got. And to me, it was a really fun experience. Just kind of, it's like opening a present. It's fun, like who doesn't wanna do that? So those are my thoughts on my first experience with this thread crate box. I have already purchased February's, so you'll probably see that one coming up soon too. And if you wanna see more of these unboxing videos, please let me know. I would love to do more for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.